So these are just getting used to the place, uh, you know, going to the different areas on the curra. It's quite a large, quite a large expanse of ground here and there are a number of different places they go to. And so these have just arrived three weeks and they're steadily getting to know the place. This is their first day on this particular strip of ground. They're up here near the race course cantering down there now to come up this uh, wood chip gallop they're coming up about seven furlongs uh, their first time on this gallop called the old vic they have to start going a little bit faster now getting a little bit of weight off so we're just introducing them to this particular uh, gallop for the first time and we'll see how they come up okay tiana Brilliant. very good good okay yeah not too bad well, here we're on the top of Walsh's Hill, uh, where we have a lot of our good grass gallops. These uh, haven't been on the grass yet, it'll be a while before they're on the grass, but uh, uh, they're just walking home now, uh, nice and happy and relaxed. You want to see that they're content after their work and they walk home quietly. They're not worried about what has happened. It's early days for them, but uh, I'm delighted with the way they're behaving. They're, they're, you know, they're well broken. They're kind, kind horses. It'll take three months or so to to get them to the race course. I'd say uh, it'll take at least six weeks more cantering before they'd start fast work, and then maybe six weeks, you know, from that. So it'll be a total about three months or so. Different trainers have different styles. You know, some trainers like to give them a quiet introduction. Uh, don't like to have them too souped up for their first run. Other trainers are good, good, you know, they get them to win first time out, they, that's what they like to do. Depends on the trainer, depends on the client, and uh, uh, depends on the horse too, the, whether the horse is, is a, a more relaxed type of individual who's probably going to be half asleep first time out anyway, no matter what you do to it at home. And then there are other precocious horses who could make an, an impression first time out. Uh, so the trainer might decide, well, let's win with them first time out if we can. So it's easy to prepare them to do that on, on the training here because they get so much experience. They're, they're out in the open spaces and they learn a lot. They're not following a rail. When they're on the grass, there's more things to see, there's more things to distract them, so they learn a bit more. It's always nice looking at horses, I think, you know, when they're, when they're walking out and walking home. I do this every day, of course, of my life, but uh, I, I never tire of just watching them, looking at them. Nice, nice to see them behave well, walk well. Ears pricked. Riders nice and happy and relaxed on them. Everybody getting on well together. I suppose that's why we train race horses. These sort of simple things give us some pleasure. If you didn't like it, you know, if that didn't give you some enjoyment, I suppose you. You wouldn't be bothered doing the job. <laughs>